Head coach Art Bryles paces the fast track, driving a high-scoring team. His Baylor Bears have led college football in total offense the past three seasons. Dynamic and trend-setting, playing at a high, high rate of speed with high intensity and, and really high effort. And so when everybody's clicking, then we feel like we've done what we need to do. The point totals get attention, but also build sustained success. Bryles is a turnaround specialist, revitalizing the football programs where he's coached, from Texas high schools to colleges. His unconventional adaptive approach has branded him as a respected innovator. When you get against people that are as good as you are better, then you better be different. It's kind of out of necessity. I coached high school for a number of years, and you, you coach who walk through the door you got to make it work for them. And that's, I think, what's helped us here at the collegiate level. I mean, we'll adapt our personnel, we'll change our philosophy and change our schemes to make it more beneficial for our players. Baylor's hurry up, no huddle tempo, matches Coach Bryles' upbeat personality, whose style, like his hybrid offense, has become an art. When a person sits down and writes a song, I mean, they create something that's never been there before. And they, they let you see it visually and, and feel with it. And it's the same thing with a new football play. It's never existed before. You've created something. That's the exciting part. The native Texan played quarterback at Rule High School and receiver at the University of Houston, where he later coached for five years. Bryles built Cougar football back to respectability. He then faced a similar challenge when arriving at Baylor in 2008, taking over a program that had been unranked for 22 years. By 2011, the Bears were ranked 12th nationally play from the inside out because I, I don't think you can do anything without bringing your passion. It's easy to, to be physically fit on the outside and to be mentally ready, but I mean, when you start playing with your soul and with your heart, then you have a chance to be different. Last season, Baylor's 11 wins were a school best, bringing the first Big 12 championship to Waco. A new $260 million stadium opens this season. Bryles is the undisputed leader to the program's quick rise to national prominence. Baylor is once again loaded for bear after years as the underachieving underdog. You know, I've been on the floor, you know, I've been, I've been my face in the dirt, so you can rise up and you have an opportunity to do something with yourself. So when I, when something, an obstacle's in front of me that, that may seem daunting, I'm not intimidated by my circumstances. Events in my life have made me unafraid. The ongoing resurgence that Art Bryles brings has more to do with him being a son than a coach. It comes from struggle, when the young sophomore wide receiver was waiting to be reunited with his family at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas. Instead, he was ambushed with agonizing news. Art's parents and aunt never made it. And after the game, he learned why. October 16, 1976, I'd actually talked to him the night before from the hotel room and said, you know, we'll see you tomorrow at the game. There's always a parent section. You know, you look around, you look up there, and you know, didn't see them, didn't, didn't think much about it. You know, just, you know, maybe they're running late. Then after the game, a couple of coaches said, that Coach Elman wants to see you, and when he delivered the news to me, you know, that, you know, they had deceased on the way to the game. Just complete, uh, you know, devastation, shock, you know, dreadful day in my life. All three were killed in a car crash while en route from Rule to Dallas. How long? Did that pain run? You know, I mean, it never stops. It was Art's last season as a player. He transferred to finish his undergraduate and graduate degrees before coaching high school for 21 years. It took him 30 before he could open up to talk about his family's tragedy. But internally, he found a shelter. I thought it might be an opportunity to, to take a despondent state and, and make it a hopeful state. And so, you know, my faith in God that good things can come out of bad situations. You know, there was a sacrifice that took place that allowed me to, to have the opportunity to move on with a different mindset than what I would, would have had. There's a purpose in life, and uh, the purpose is to live here for after. Fitted for khaki pants and a headset, Bryles mentors and serves as a surrogate father to student athletes who face struggles from being parentless. His new book, Beating Goliath, inspires readers who wrestle with adversity. I can relate. I've been there. And so it just makes me more appreciative of, of you know, young adults and people that, that maybe suffer or maybe trying to make it and, and needing guidance to make it to where, you know, hey, you know, I, I can help you, you know, and I'm with you. 
and to be a, a good holy influence. You know, I've been blessed to be able to, you know, to be in the profession I'm in where you can utilize them. The shining charge to his Baylor players is not just set the standard, but be the standard. Getting ready and being the best that he can be that day. And get on the football field and to have a, a team, you know, have a purpose and to everybody work for that purpose and give up their own benefits for the benefit of the team. That's inspiring. Art Bryles, head coach, innovator, and leader, who turns losses into storied wins by drawing out a champion's response. So when times are despondent, you know, find a reason to make it positive because as bad as things are now, they don't have to stay bad. So look for the opportunities to change and make it better. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You know, I mean, when you need strength, you know, Christ is where you look.